Hey, I'm Fight the Flat Earth, and welcome back to the channel that uses chemical decomposition to hide the remains of stupid. Today, I'm joined by a fellow NASA shill to take on what is possibly the most basic, boring, misguided, and downright stupid flurf I've ever come across. I'm not kidding. I struggled to write this episode because Dave from Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole, or Dirth, the dip roof, dip, dip, fuck it, let's just call him Dave. Dave is just so unimpressive. There's going to be a lot of stupid here, guys, so just join Planner Walk and I as we go deep inside the rabbit hole of stupid. It's just a big hole of stupid. We're living on a disc, floating through space, with a tiny sun. Yeah. Find the Find the Okay, so going through Dave's channel was actually a bit of a task as Dave has a particular type of video with a very annoying format that basically goes, you show a black background and you put some text on it and play dramatic music. I mean, that's it. I'm sorry. I've gone through and picked three that are the, um, I don't want to say the best because, I mean, they all suck, but you know what I mean. Anyway, put your reading glasses on. Oh, fuck's sake, Dave, no. Unless you're referring to the line of scientific inquiry around the possibility of space being a superfluid, which I'm gonna guess is not what you're talking about, then no, space is not liquid, and there is no firmament separating the waters above from the waters below. Well, quite a fucking lot, actually. One's a massive ball of plasma powered by a core of nuclear fusion, and the other isn't. Earth is a planet, the sun is a star. Why do I have to explain this stuff to a fully grown man? Did you just wake up one day and decide that adulting, you know, wasn't for you? Yeah, an out of focus star and Venus taken with a camera, not a telescope. And the P900 is an alright camera, not a brilliant one that somehow magically proves the flat earth. No Dave, they're not. They are out of focus, jumpy shots of the sky. Does his carer know he's playing with electricity and water? Ah, no don't! Oh, it's all right. He's, he's okay. Right, so the gist of this nonsense is that if you put a light in some water and jiggle it about, it kind of looks like an out of focus shot of a star in Venus. And, and this is evidence of flat, flat Earth. What is actually wrong with you? No, Dave, no. The firmament is not a thing. We have a pressure gradient. That wouldn't be possible if we were in a magic snow globe. And maybe if you paid attention at school instead of eating the chips of lead paint you were scraping off the wall, we wouldn't be in this situation now. I mean, I'm gonna have to disagree with you there. We, we do, and it's been demonstrated so many times by both flat earthers and normal people. It's about time you stop being so stupid because I'm starting to pity you. Yes, they are, Dave. Yes, yes, Dave, they are. Dave, they are, yes. For instance, the planet Mercury is at its closest to us 48 million miles away and at its furthest 138 million miles away. No, Dave, just, just no. 
Is 138 million miles what you consider close? Is 48 million miles what you consider close? This video has nearly 3,000 views. That's 3,000 people that have watched you nearly electrocute yourself and put factually incorrect statements on the plain black background. Personally, I think you should apologize to all 3,000 people for wasting their time. What else have you got? Well, yeah, that, that looks about right. Good job. You get a smiley face sticker. Oh, yeah, you can give that sticker back because if the sun were that close, we'd all be very dead from the intense radiation. Do you have a point here? Well, I'm glad you agree that that would be a horrible way to die. But interestingly enough, in about 5.4 billion years from now, that's pretty much what the view of the sun will be like from Earth. Let's take a break from dit roof. Dave, Dave's particular brand of stupidity and go to the remedial classroom to explain. Hello class, settle down. Today we're looking at nuclear fusion and... What is it Mr. Riley? Everyone is laughing at you again. <laughs> because you released a video saying an eclipse should come in at 45 degrees, stop for no reason on the sun, then move off at 90 degree angle. Yeah, I'm not surprised everyone is laughing at you. In fact, class, I insist that you will point and laugh at Sleeping Warrior as much as possible. You're all stupid, but he's an idiot jackpot. Anyway, nuclear fusion and how it relates to the sun, our star at the center of our solar system. Our sun is a run-of-the-mill ordinary star, known as a G-type main sequence star, aka a yellow dwarf. Our star is about halfway through the most stable part of its life and for the past 4 billion years has remained largely unchanged. The sun is powered by nuclear fusion at its core as hydrogen is fused into helium and every second 600 million tons of matter are converted into neutrinos, solar radiation and roughly 4 times 10 to the 27 watts of energy. However, this process cannot last forever as our sun only has a finite amount of hydrogen to fuse. So far, the sun's converted an estimated 100 times the mass of Earth into helium and solar energy. In about 5.4 billion years, the sun will exit the main sequence stage of its life as the inert helium that is built up will become unstable and collapse under its own weight. This will cause the core to heat up and get denser, causing the sun to grow in size and enter a red giant phase. The sun will expand so much it will envelop Mercury, Venus and possibly even Earth. Now class, your homework is to go through the comments section of Sleeping Warriors channel as it's possibly the funniest place on the internet and you can guarantee to come away feeling smart. I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons. Your support allows me time to focus on my channel and do what's important, bringing you great content and fighting the flat earth. I want to say an extra massive thank you to my $200 patrons, Christopher Kane and Jeffrey Sloan. If you'd like to join and become part of the FTFE team, go to patreon.com forward slash FTFE. And thank you. Oh man. Oh, he bores me so much. I don't think I'm ready to watch any more of his stuff right now. It's a good job that I'm friends with Wolfie6020's son and uh, he made him record this video for me. Plan a walk. Ahoy hoy, I'm Planner Walk and I'm here to take over for Craig watching the Earth's videos. Was that 10 seconds of Dearth's name boring? Well, guess what? It isn't quite as boring as watching a Dearth video. Craig has already fallen asleep. So let's get this over and done with quickly, shall we? And let's start with a nice and short video. So I'm pretty sure there was meant to be a shocking image or maybe some text or something that was meant to just shock people but all I saw was this horrid lot of colours and I, I can't see now. I mean, I, this feels like a flat earth. 
So my sight is back and I decided to watch it again but with glasses this time to protect my eyes so that I could actually see what it said and it said Earth is flat. So I feel like the warning label was appropriate because you know, you do need a warning before you get exposed to that much idiocracy. Now before any flat earthers come along and post in the comments, Oh my god, you're so stupid, face comma, it was a joke. I know that already. That was essentially Dirth's way of complaining about YouTube not giving him the attention he wants. Alright, what else does Dirth have? It's really funny that he's getting his data from dayandnight.com, which is based on the globe model, which is based on observation. So yes, Antarctica having 24 hour daylight during the southern hemisphere summer is pretty good evidence for the globe. But oh no 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 no! Super genius Dirth has a different idea! Um, by the way, if anyone's complaining that the captions are up on screen too long, this was sped up from the original video. I guess Dirth knows his target audience well. But to address Dirth's point, no, it doesn't prove flat earth in a dome. That's just your interpretation of it. Because how can evidence prove a flat earth when it supports a globe earth? It doesn't make any sense, does it? Oh yes, the glass atmosphere theory. How could I be so blind? I really need to work on my ventriloquism. I like how they use advanced daylight patterns here. Like seriously, what is flat earth actually advanced in? So that appears to make sense when you put it like that. But what I want to see is what happens when you put the camera inside. Would the sun in Antarctica appear to move 15 degrees per hour? Because I kinda doubt that. So how about you invest in a dome which you can put a camera under? Because that would actually prove your point a lot better than just showing something which you can't see what it is like from the point of the observer. Also, another thing to note is that air does not have the same refractive index that glass has. Glass and air are two completely different things. So you might want to account for atmosphere next time you do something like this, just so you know. Fun fact. If you've got to state that it's not a coincidence, it's probably a coincidence. And also, can you please turn the volume on that music down? By God, it is loud! Alright, one last statement and then I'm done here. You can't spell dearth without dirt. Back to you, Craig! Oh man, really? I've got to talk more about this, dumbass. Okay, let's have a look what else you managed to squeeze out of Windows Movie Maker. Yeah, they did. Isn't that an awesome achievement? But I bet you have a problem with it, huh? Oh, it's all right. Oh, I see the problem. You're really fucking stupid and don't know anything about how distances and zoom can change the apparent size of what you're looking at. Look at this photo of an orange and my son's football. We know which one is bigger, but look, as if by magic, the orange looks bigger than the ball. But now, the ball looks bigger than the orange. The size of them didn't change, just the position and zoom of my shot. And that's all the derf, dit, dit riff, Darth Dave that I can take right now. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already and get the notification bell on so you never miss anything from FTFE. Make sure you're also subscribed to Planner Walk for more awesome content, including his latest video, 
flat earth arguments that defeat themselves featuring me and also subscribe to mine and team skeptics new channel science or satire for an alternative look at the world of science remember stupidity is not a right fight the flat earth fight the flat fight the flat fight the flat fight the fight 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 the flat fight the flat fight the fight the flat fight the flat fight the fight fight the 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 fight the